Hey guys, Kev here, and it's Jaeger time. Welcome to Jaegerville, the home of the hollow grind. <laughs> All right, so welcome to Jaegerville, home of the ting. Um, I have these two Jaegers up in his biznatch. So this one right here is my flipper. PVD coated Knife Joy one with the blue uh, collars, right? This one is the non flipper uh, Knife Joy uh, exclusive one with the blue collars. And uh, this one I think is my buddy Joe's. This one's mine. I have two more, so let's get them out. Uh, they come with these cool stickers. One of them is the camo carbon, and one of them is plain, so they're different. So I gotta keep those together. Um, uh, non-flipper. Okay, I think this is just the titanium. Let's look at that one first. Now, I do have two more, uh, I believe, on the way. So, I'm a Jaeger maniac. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Centering looks good. So, here's the thing. Brandon Thrasher, my good buddy, BT, he's already, he already bought one of these two, right? Oh, yeah, technically, I own all of these, I think, now. Um, I think. I forget. Anyway, um, I didn't know which one I should sell him, the, the, the one with the plain tie or the blue collar. Now, he wants the um, the Timascus kit anyway or the Moku tie kit, so it may be a non-starter. Um, but I figure since I have blue on this one, maybe it'd be cool to have the non on this one. And I could always do a switch if I really wanted to, because I think this one would look sick with a plain collar on it. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, let's check this one out. Uh, I guess the benefit of being the guy with all the Jaegers is I get to check them all. Right? Um, you know, I, I'm sorry, Brandon. You don't get to pull, pull it out of the box. Is this Okay. Um, I've heard of uh, like Nap Sergeant was just cutting thick cardboard, and he like rolled the edge like crazy. It's just a very thin hologram. Um, so let's take a look. Centering looks good, like the other ones. Uh, it looks really good. I like the plain look, honestly. Whoa. Okay. Wow. So this one drops a little more it's got a little more drop to it the detent is slightly lighter that one fires well i don't know i mean it feels good no play man that non-flipper grip let me feel this one again. Hear that fly out of there? Yeah, it's definitely a little bit lighter. Um, but it could also just be it needs to wear in because they do need to wear in. Oh, this one feels pretty good, though, right off the bat. I mean, it's very smooth. Um, the other one, they, they come a bit gritty. Not gritty. It's just the detent ball wearing a path on that. Uh, horizontal satin so anyway i guess i'll just keep these two since i've already fucked with them um it's not like this is bad it's just a sea hair lighter so to speak um and i think as it breaks in it's gonna get better plus it does drop better you can see it immediately um See how I have to kind of double it there? I have to push over and then over again to get it to drop. This one just drops. Now, I wonder if Lefty... No, I still can't. Still can't get it out. So she said. So, all right. Anyway, put that one over here with this one. We got one more. This one is the one I'm waiting to check out. This is the Sunset Orange one. Oh. Why is it out of the... That's weird. This one's out of the package. Dead centered. Ooh. Wow. It's 
smooth. This might have been the one he had at Blade Show on the table. Ironically enough. Damn, the action on this one's incredible. Holy shit. This is currently the one to beat here. Now, again, detent is... Yeah, it's lighter again. So, that's interesting. I didn't realize there would be variants in the detent. I'm not... Again, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's... it's different and somebody did tell me somebody i was talking to i think it was sean he was like yeah um detent's lighter and i was like what light light detent on a jaeger that just seems weird um but i get what he's saying it's not it wasn't super satisfying now this one's perfect this one's firing um i would not have issue with the, i mean flipper tab there you go i failed it You know, if you don't, but if you pull it, it fires. You know what I mean? But if I show you this one, I don't think I could do that with this one. <laughs> so, you know, but you could feel it. The lock bar is stiffer on them, you know, where this one, I think most people would prefer the way uh, these two are. I think that's how most people would prefer them. And it could just be they're broken in. Well, this one might be because it's out of the package for some reason. So I've heard that a um, couple people had issue with glue being around the inlay and stuff and screws being chewed up. Uh, well, that was one person I heard that from. I don't see any issues on these. I also had some people say, I really don't like that the inlays stick proud. Um... Again, I, I kind of like it, to be honest. You can hear my kids screaming. Trust me, my wife is with her. She's joking around, I think. Um, yeah, I like the inlays. I actually really like the sunset color. Um, this one's for, again, um, my buddy Joe. It's for his son, Zach. He really likes orange. So we were thinking this was perfect for him. And I was able to get one on the pre-order for him. Um, and I think he bought it for his son. So uh, Joe is always doing cool stuff like that. This stuff is beautiful. I have, um, so I have a Tiffany Blue, sorry, Brittany Blue uh, non-flipper coming. And then I have a, I believe, a Navy camo carbon flipper coming now the navy one is for again my buddy joe so his son will have this and he'll have that um and then uh the tiffany blue non-flipper is for me so i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> i mean it's just it's jaegerville welcome to jaegerville um i got four here right now technically i own three i own these two and the um and the Tiffany one, blue, whatever the fuck it is, Brittany blue, just call it Tiffany, damn it. Um, and then we're, I'm going to be buying the Navy one on Monday for Joe, uh, but he's technically buying it. So whatever, however you want to look at it. But that's like six Jaegers plus the one Joe has, that's seven Jaegers. So clearly we like the Jaeger. <laughs> and, you know, you get excited for things, right? This was a huge pre-order. I mean, it was like, the pre-order of all pre-orders, you know, everybody wanted a Jaeger. Most people I talked to ordered multiples so that they could try the one they wanted or whatever. He had 2,000 of these on pre-order um, or that got ordered, right? So there's a lot of them out there. You're able to get them finally, you know, um, give it a week and you'll be able to get pretty much anything you want. Uh, I would venture to guess short of like the Facebook exclusive or some of these colors, but you'll be able to get inlay ones. You'll be able to get a Jaeger. That's the important thing. You can finally get a Jaeger. Um, so yeah, they're all good. I got to say they're all good. Um, I just think, I think I prefer these two with the action, but you lose a little on the drop, right? Um, so, you know, most people are probably going to prefer this, I think. And it flips really well lefty, though. 
But the disengage right-handed, man, is so much better because it's just a little bit less pressure on that lock bar. And you can see I'm flipping it no problem. And the sounds, beautiful on these, man. This one doesn't quite ting. So that's a downside to this one. That one gives you a little bit. That one, let's see. Yeah, it gives you a little ting. Definitely this one needs some breaking. You can feel it, hear it too. It's not bad. These two were definitely worse, but that's because the detent's probably a little stronger. So as that wears in, this is going to get even snappier. Um, but yeah, they, they all pass my QC, I would say. I mean, look at the centering on these. Dead nuts. Dead nuts. Dead nuts. Dead nuts. I mean, it's impressive. It's really impressive what Riyadh's doing, so... Um, all right, that's it. Jaegerville unboxing. I may do another video uh, once I have it settled and I know which ones are mine and which ones are going and that kind of thing. Um, I'm probably going to keep two. I, I think that's my plan is to keep a flipper and keep a non-flipper. Um, that's what I'm thinking. And whether I take the non-flipper Brittany one and I switch the blade out with this so then it's a flipper and then i have a non-flipper with the pvd um i could do that you know you, you have options right but i could also just keep three i could buy another one who knows what i'm gonna do i'm a maniac <laughs> so i love you guys let me know what you think down in the comments did you also go crazy on the eggers to figure out what you wanted um hopefully the market stands i i think they will continue to go for retail uh right now they're going for a touch over retail if you paid three fifty, you're getting three seventy five. If you paid three eighty, you're getting like four hundred, four twenty. Um, it's not crazy anymore where you're get you're paying five six hundred dollars, right? Um, but I'm hoping it doesn't dip down to where you know you got to give them away, you got to lose money and, and give it away for three hundred. You know what I mean? Because that always sucks. But that's what happens when there's two thousand or something on the market. Um, so I'm hoping the the market holds up a bit longer until I get things sorted out. And then, uh, yeah. So, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.